Items Block 6, the Great Depression, Section 2, Hoover's response uh, with the section starting with the bonus army. Uh, World War I veterans were promised a bonus uh, for their service. They were going to be paid a sum of money due to them in 1945. Um, a number, a number, when they were old and you know could use you know a little extra money, that as part of their service in World War I, the government promised them a bonus to be paid in 1945. Well, in 1932, with all of the despair uh, in the United States, uh, a lot of veterans got into their heads that they would demand their bonuses early uh, so they could feed their families, pay their rent, pay their mortgage, uh, etc. And a political movement of, of veterans sprung up, uh, and they called themselves the Bonus Army. And they petitioned the government to, to pay their bonus early. Uh, Hoover's administration refused. They said, you know, the bonus will be paid in 1945 and not a minute earlier. Um, and in response to that refusal, uh, several thousand, or several tens of thousands, of veterans, you know, with little else to do, where they weren't working, uh, marched on Washington, D.C. They came from all 48 states uh, and kind of set up camp, you know, in different areas around Washington. Uh, this is um, at the, it's not the Lincoln Memorial, that's the Capitol building, uh, the back of it. That, so they, they set up camp at the Capitol building and they demand their, uh, they demanded their bonus and they put pressure on Congress and Congress still refused. Uh, President Hoover ordered the bonus marchers with his sympathy uh, to disperse and go home and, you know, the economy was going to get better, it was just a matter of time. The government could not afford to pay the bonuses to all of them at that particular moment, and they would have to disperse. And Hoover, um, in, he meant it positively. Hoover did not mean it uh, in a negative way. Hoover offered to pay the train ticket, pay personally uh, the, the train tickets uh, for all of the bonus marchers home. And he meant this as a gesture of goodwill. And it was not taken as a gesture of goodwill. It was taken pretty much as a, a middle finger stuck up in their face. Uh, you know, screw you, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll pay you to leave. Just get out of here. We'll pay your way home. Bye. Uh, and a lot of them went home, but a large portion of the bonus marchers said, we're not going to take no for an answer, and we're going to stay. And at that point, with, you know, public order being threatened, uh, the authority of the United States government being questioned. Um, President Hoover ordered the army to clear the bonus marchers. And in charge of the operation, he put a young general by the name of Douglas MacArthur, uh, whose father had been a World War I hero. MacArthur had been a World War I hero. Uh, Douglas MacArthur will go on to incredible fame as an American general in World War II and in Korea. Uh, but in 1932, General MacArthur was tasked with removing the bonus army from Washington, D.C. Things got a little out of hand. Um, tear gas was used and blood was spilled. Um, several bonus marchers were killed, I believe six, and American soldiers were wounded. Um, and then the camp, um, it's unclear whether MacArthur ordered this or not, um, but the bonus marchers camp was put to the torch. Uh, and it was burned. And you can see here the remnants of this shanty town, this Hooverville, burning uh, with the U.S. Capitol rising in the background. Uh, it's quite a powerful picture of kind of just the despair that enveloped the United States. And people were worried. There's street violence in Europe. There are, you know, there's communist violence in Europe. There's fascist violence in Europe. There's Nazi violence in Europe. And now all of a sudden, you know, the American army is attacking American veterans for exercising what they felt were their constitutional rights to petition the government. Uh, and a lot of people are on edge. Uh, and in 1932, this does nothing to restore Hoover's popularity. It's almost as if the American people are looking for a savior. Um, and lucky for them, um, or so they felt, such a person was on the horizon. Because finally, after four years of Hoover, um, an election was upcoming.